click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. So friends, in the previous lecture, we have understood that is how we can prepare primary alcohol by using an alkene and by using diborane. So now, we are again talking about that is the hydration of alkene in this topic, that is the mechanism of hydration of ethene. So now, let us understand the mechanism behind it and let us understand that how the reaction works and how we can obtain an alcohol. So now, let's get started. So now in this topic we are going to talk about that is the mechanism of hydration of ethene. So now let us understand that is what is the product that we could obtain whenever the ethene is undergoing a hydration process. So now let me give you the general reaction first and then we will move on to the mechanism. So the general reaction is very simple to understand that is suppose if we have considered that is ethene that is CH2, double bond CH2. And suppose we have to do hydration process, obviously we are treating it with water molecule and that also in presence of an acidic condition that is H plus I will over here. And the product that we could obtain here it is that is CH3, CH2, OH. So this is the product that we have obtained, and this is the product that we have got is this is known as ethanol. So while talking about the example, we can also consider an unsymmetrical alkene. So in this case, we have considered ethene, but we can also consider that is protein, and we can also deduce that is the mechanism behind it. So now let me give the straight point that is let me make you understand that is what is the mechanism behind the hydration of ethene. So now let's do that also. So the mechanism is a three-step process that I am going to talk about. So let me talk about the first step. So as we have considered that is the hydration of ethene. So we will consider the water molecule that is H2. But this reaction should be done in an acidic medium. So therefore H2 it will react with H plus. That is an acidic, that would be H2SO4 or that could be a HCl, but usually we take H2SO4 because obviously it is a dehydrating agent also. So that is the reason that the product that we could obtain here is basically H3O. And now this hydronium ion, this hydronium ion, it will react with ethene. So the ethene that we have is that is CHH double bond CH. So whenever it is being triggered with hydronium ion, that is nothing but I could write it as H O H. Here also I will write it as H, and this is positive charge over here. So obviously the reaction proceeds in such a manner that this this negative charge or this electron that it has, it will basically it will stabilize this oxygen which is having a positive charge, and that is how obviously the reaction will go in such a manner. And this is obviously a reversible reaction that we will get, and the product that we could obtain here it is. So here, basically, we can find that is these two electrons, obviously, they will attack the hydrogen atom over here. And that is the reason that the product that we could obtain is basically C, H, H, here also there will be H. And here, this will be a carbon atom that has two hydrogen atoms over here. And we value because this electron has been moved towards this hydrogen atom, so as this hydrogen can bond, bond with this carbon atom. So that's the reason that this carbon will have a positive charge on it. But meanwhile, this two electron or this electron pair it will jump on the oxygen atom and that is how basically we could obtain that is H2O. So this is the product that we have obtained and that consists of a positive charge. So therefore we have obtained a cation. So therefore we could name the step number one as formation of So this is what we have and now let us move on to the next step and the next step is so in the second step basically the thing that we have obtained in the first step that is we have obtained ethyl carbocation so this is what we have or we could write it in this manner where the carbon has a positive charge obviously it will react with water molecule and the water molecule could be that is I could write the structure as H O H so here basically as we understand that is the oxygen is the one which is basically more electronegative compared to that of the hydrogen. So obviously it will attack the carbocation over here and the product that we could obtain is it will be nothing but CH3. Now here it is carbon that has two hydrogen on it and now here it is OH H. This is what we have a positive charge on the oxygen atom because oxygen has 
now three galaxy that's the reason the positive charge is on it so now this is the second step and now what would be the name of this step actually as you can understand that is this is a water molecule that gets attached on the carbocation so therefore we could call it as a hydration of the carbocation So this is the step 2 and now let's move on to the last step that is step 3. So the product that we have obtained in step number 2 that is because of the nucleophilic attack of the water molecule on the carbocation and that is what we have obtained a product and the product is nothing but that is C H H I would write it over here as in this manner that is which consists of O H H and here it is a positive charge. And now suppose if it reacts with a water molecule again and that's the case where we could find that is the HOH or the water molecule that is of a negative charge over here. So now this will take the hydrogen atom on it and now this two electrons that will come back to this oxygen atom and that is how this, the, this charge will get stabilized. And the product that we could obtain is nothing but CH3, CH2, OH along with that of the removal of H3O plus which is nothing but an acid but this H3O plus is the same thing that we have used in our step 1 so that's the reason that this H3O plus is acting like a catalyst so this is how we see we have obtained the alcohol and the name of this thing is formation of ethanol so this was related to the mechanism of the hydration of an alkene so that's it so this is what i want to discuss about so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this mechanism very clearly and i hope i will see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much